Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Today I'm super excited to talk about the smoothest and most powerful WinLater release ever, the brand new WinLater CMOD version 13.1. If you've been using WinLater to run PC games on Android, you're going to love this. This update is seriously game-changing, with massive performance upgrades, new features, better stability that makes even heavy games like GTA V run insanely smooth on mobile. Let's check out new updates quickly. In performance updates, major CPU optimizations with a full EV shim rewrite removed shared memory usage, resulting in much smoother gameplay, especially on low-end devices. Box 64, 3.2, and 3.6 support is back. In audio updates, the ALSA reflector has been improved for better sound quality and stability, with refined buffering and reconnection logic, and new features. VK Bus Alt is now integrated, allowing per-shortcut sharpening and effects like CAS and DLS for better graphics. Bug fixes, crashes from broken shortcuts, front-end issues, controller bugs, and gyro calibration problems have all been fixed for a smooth their experience. And lastly, core updates. Proton. 10 support is now prepped, and essential assets like Box64, DXVK, VKD3D, and drivers have been fully updated for improved compatibility and performance. Now let's walk through how to set it up the right way. First, open the WinLater app and grant it the necessary permissions. You'll see a quick info screen. Just click Continue and wait for the data to initialize. Once that's done, it's time to configure your settings. Head into the Settings menu. For better performance, set your Box64 preset mode to perform and increase cursor speed to 200%. Leave everything else at default for now. Now go to the Containers section and create a new one. Set the screen resolution based on your device. 1280 x 720 is a good starting point for most phones. For the Wine version, choose Proton 9.0 ARM 64 EC. When selecting your GPU driver, hit the Settings button. If you're using a Snapdragon phone, go with Turnip GPU driver, Turnip 25.3.0 R3 Auto. For MediaTek or Mali devices, choose the System driver. Driver. For graphics driver, pick DXVK for general games or VKD3D for DX and 12 titles. I use DXVK version 2.3.1 ARM 64 EC, enabled async, and turned on cache for smoother gameplay. In the audio driver section, select the new Alsay reflector. You can enable show FPS if you like. Then scroll down and set the video memory size to 4G guy. Now go to advanced settings while still creating your container. Set box 64 version to 0.3.7, keep the performance preset, and choose FexCore 2.0. 508 for better CPU emulation. For TSO mode, pick fastest and enable multi-block. In startup selection, choose either normal or essential. The aggressive mode has been removed because of controller issues. Once everything's configured, save the container. Open your container, navigate to internal storage, find your game file, for example, GTA 5th, and right-click the launcher.exe to create a shortcut. Back in WinLater, go to the controller manager if you have a gamepad. Connect it via Bluetooth, enable it, and click assign. Make sure to keep the first option open so it activates the virtual gamepad overlay. Next, go to the shortcut settings. Click the three dots beside your game shortcut and adjust your settings. Make sure they match your container settings to avoid mismatches or crashes. Now just launch your game. I've already added the mission skip file, so I landed directly into Franklin's gameplay. Right from the start, I got 60 to 70 FPS, and during open world gameplay, it stayed around 50 to 60 FPS consistently, with zero stutters. This is seriously the first time I've played GTA 5 this smoothly on a mobile device. Now maybe you're thinking, we've seen 40, 50 FPS before in other WinLater versions, but trust me, I've tested every version released. Every single one had issues, shutters, lag, random frame drops, but this version, none of that. It's smooth, stable, and absolutely game-changing. So yeah, WinLater CMOD V13.1 is absolutely worth upgrading to. If you've been waiting for the right version to play serious PC games on your phone, this is it. That's all for today's video. If this helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, Subscribe and drop a comment letting me know what games you're playing on WinLater. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.